And away we go. Hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with... Liz. And Blake. And uh, they came all the way from the center of the country in Chicago, which is one of my favorite towns in the world. And uh, they went through the entire museum, which means they missed their flight. <laughs> um, but they're going to open up, each one is going to open up one of these boxes over here. I brought them a giant box. It's probably a human torso or a mummy from the Met. Um, uh, so, I, and the way I do this is like a 40-second street shell game, which I remember as a little kid, a guy would show up with three shells, and there was a quarter under one of them, and he would mix them up, and you had to guess which shell had the quarter, mm -hmm. and then you would win something. The only difference here is, I don't have three shells. There isn't a quarter under any of these boxes, and you win nothing. So it's kind of like a three-card Monty in a way. Right. Um, the only similarity is this. I do mix up the packages. <laughs> so this is me mixing up the packages. Are you guys confused? Yep. Yeah. Good, because otherwise <laughs> I'd have to do this all day long. Uh, okay, so um, pick a package to open any package. I'll do that one. You'll do that one. Excellent. Oh, You're taking yellow. the big one? I'll take the yellow one. You'll take the yellow one. Yep. Excellent. And there's your scalpels. Bye, human torso. <laughs> Just remember not to cut yourselves, each other, or me. Or, the cat. or what's inside. Or what's inside. <laughs> but if you do decide to cut any of the humans in the room, I do have Civil War surgical tools oh. that I can cure you with. And they don't require anesthesia or sterilization. A shot of whiskey and you're gone. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> oh, he was smart. He didn't read. <laughs> that would be cheating. Oh, and that's an interesting device. I know what that is. I hope you do. You ordered it, didn't you? I know. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what the Sam Hill is that? Oh, no, someone once opened up the neighbor's sneakers. Oh, there right. you go. <laughs> the doorman Oops. mixed it up. I was like, oh, yeah, that's for the neighbor. Put that back. <laughs> and then we had to open another package. And I get a lot of donations. So oh, people really? will often oh, send me donations. Wow. And I'm like, I didn't order this. And it'll be someone who came to the show and will mail me some cool stuff. And I'm really? like, wow, that's cool. So this is part of our math show. A number aid, it's an abacus. Okay. How sweet is that? And that's a really nice one. How do those work? You know, like it's actually knows. not, yeah, you know, no one knows, and for ages it perplexed me, but it's actually rather simple. It's it basically, if you can count to ten, you can use an abacus. Because what's going on here, um, you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then when you, got, when you got to nine, instead of holding all of these, you put them down, and this is ten. Okay. So if you want to do eleven, you go eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, and that's okay. how it works. And when you got to nineteen, you put them all down, and this is twenty. Okay. So these are tens, and those are singles. And that's how it works. Simple as that. Okay. So if you can count, you can use an abacus. <laughs> Um, so that's a very cool one, and I can see he has a logical mind, so I could see why he would open up, you know, you opened up the ma madness. Yeah. What do you do for... I'm in finance. You're in finance? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, now I should tell you that na I would say um, 80 to 90 percent of people that open up packages, it has to do with their personality. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, the really? the first year, I noticed that this, uh, as an economics major, I noticed the, the pattern, that, and it was so unmistakable. Yeah. But at the first year, I wasn't telling anyone because it was spooking me. I was right. like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. People are opening up packages going, I work in finance and I opened up a calculator. <laughs> <Yeah>. How crazy. <laughs> right. She had the chance of opening this, but she didn't. You did. Yep. And the irony, the uncanny, you know, the coincidence is unmistakable. Uh, after the first year, people were literally gasping, going, oh my God, my father's from this town. Or this is what I did. People were like going nuts. I said, oh, I'm supposed to tell people the package is picking the person, yeah. not the person oh, yeah. picking the package. And I think I know what you opened, and this is the Holy Grail. I know, this that is, looks cool. Is it is, one of those 3D picture things that you were talking bit, about? Yeah, but this is beyond cool. This is, I've been wanting this for so many years, and it was impossible to find. I found out about it because of Brian May of Queen. Uh, he did a book on these. Um, he apparently is really into 3D photography. So these are original Diableries. Uh, the Diableries are the devil slides. Uh, the devil slides were produced in the mid-1800s by two artists from France. Uh, one was a sculptor and one was a photographer. And they made sculptures of the devil and his skeleton minions. And he put them in scenes he thought the devil would enjoy. 
Uh, you're wondering why the devil has to do it. Why did she do the devil flying? I know. <laughs> He's like, should I be flying back with her? Yeah. <laughs> you know, am I safe? Do not close your eyes throughout the entire ride. No. But there is one slide here that's perfect for her, that really is perfect for her, um, and very hard to find. Um, so getting back to how this happens, so um, he made the devil, he put the devil, and these sculptures, in scenes he thought hell would be like, but he thought hell was like Coney Island. So he put them in like trapeze acts and one-wheel bicycles and all this craziness. Um, and then the photographer photographed them in 3D. Then you remember how stereoscope cards were in cardboard? Mm -hmm. He cut out the cardboard and he and he put them and he put tissue paper in the back instead. So these are tissue slides. And then they poked out the eyes of every single of one of the skeletons, the devil's friends and they hand-painted them with red gel. So all these are hand-tinted and hand-painted in red gel. So when you put them in a stereoscope and look at them, it's a 3D picture of the devil and his skeleton minions, um, but then when you look in the light, they all glow, all the eyes glow oh, red wow. in 3D, oh. and it looks really cool. Now, you opened up the devil slides, not because you're a devil, although you're probably a bit of a little devil, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but this one is very rare and the guy didn't know what he had and I'm so glad I got this one and I got it for nothing. Yeah. This is a suffragette one. And the suffragettes were the women's movement to get the for women to get the vote. And oh. I could see her being a suffragette in nineteen pre nineteen twenties. Oh wow, so that's for cool. You to open up a suffragette one. So this is supposed to be the devil I believe it's supposed to be the devil's wife or some daughter or something like that, actually doing a speech on the suffragettes. So this is a really, really, really rare one. Um, and the other ones, I would have to know French to identify them. So those of you that know French, post. <laughs> this is your chance. So each one of these is another Diablerie. So we got four of them in this pack. Oh, that's cool. These are going to be the star of the show when we get a physical location. Yeah. But the one that's the suffragette one, this one is going to be in a special frame. Uh, in, a, in a beautiful glass case with yeah. a special light on where you're going to be able to illuminate it because this is like a holy grail one. Yeah, yeah this wow. is really hard to find. So you're going to be very proud of this because <laughs> for 100 years when, this, when I'm gone and, that, and the museum has a space, this one will be the one that everyone really looks at. There's a few of them that are like iconic ones, mm -hmm. but to get a suffragette one, I can't even believe in the mid-1800s they even thought to do a suffragette one. But right. this is yeah. absolutely amazing. Um, and oh, I'll, you're going to be the first one to try it, even before me, because it's such a cool item. So there you go, Elizabeth. And then in the oh, light. Yeah. So if you go in the light. Yeah. Cool. I can't oh yeah, you can see the eyes. Yeah, isn't that great? That is cool. Look at that. The eyes are like glowing red. Yeah. That's so cool that you opened the stuff again. I know that's that really interesting. So cool. Yeah. Wow. I'm impressed. So. Yeah. Cool. Good job. <laughs> so let's see goodbye to the world. Bye world. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, uh, we're, we're, well, what do you do? I don't even know. Oh, um, I'm in sales. Are you in sales? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the suffragette that has to do it. Yeah. <laughs>